Barry Smith, were five days after Macclesfield, how have the players responded to the disappointment? No, you know, the, the players, um, you know, we watched the video again on Monday, the players know uh, that the performance wasn't acceptable. Um, they're hurting and they're disappointed as much as what the fans are. Um, you know, and this week's been a good week's training, as it always is. Um, they've worked hard uh, and they want to make amends for it on Saturday. Big progress has, has clearly been made. We highlighted that at Barrow, but was, was this something of a, maybe not a wake-up call, but just a reminder that that they need to, that standards cannot be allowed to slip? Yeah, I think, you know, it's a reality check in that, you know, how far we've came. Um, you know, we have progressed, um, but maybe not as, yeah, we're, we're, we're still heading in the right direction, but that, we didn't see that performance coming, and that's the biggest disappointment because we have been relatively consistent in the performances uh, but we've never seen that type of performance coming and that's a disappointing thing um, but you know the, the players know that's not acceptable we move on from it and we look forward to Saturday's game against Torquay. On the way to Torquay lots of confidence from the fact that you have won three of the last five away games. Yeah you know we've had you know some very good results away from home and I don't want you know the fans to forget that the performances that we have had uh, because there has been some good performances in there, um, but it's you know about the the reaction that we want from you know a poor performance on Saturday, and I'm sure we'll get a good reaction uh, when the, the game comes around. The results currently have the team better away from home than at home. Is, do you think is there a reason for that, or is it just how the the difficult games have fallen? Well, I think if you you take Saturday's game out of the equation, which is you know we didn't expect. Um, we have had some tough games, um, you know, at home. Um, I think the performances have been, you know, of a good standard, uh, even if we weren't getting the, the results that we, we wanted. Um, but we had previously won the two games at home. I do think that teams come here um, in general, uh, because it's such a big pitch, tend to sit in and make it more difficult for us. Um, whereas away from home, you know, the, the onus is on the home team to go and win the game and maybe open up a wee bit which suits us. Uh, so we have to work harder at, you know, breaking teams down um, and finishing teams off. Um, but, you know, that, again, that, that's well seen, you know, that we're able to do that we're winning two of the last three home games. Yeah. And there's been a few defensive slips from the whole team. Are you? Is that a concern or are you more happy just to focus on the attacking side of the game? Well, you know, the way we play, we can be quite open at times, um, which allows teams, um, again, taking out Saturdays because of the, the goals that we lost on Saturday were poor goals. Um, but, you know, we allow maybe teams, because we are attacking, they're putting so many players, trying to get players forward, we allow space. Um, we do have to work on defence and, you know, we do that throughout the week uh, because we are conceding too many goals at the moment. Um, but we don't want to take away from the amount of goals that we're scoring as well, you know, because we have had a, a, a decent return in the amount of goals that we are scoring, and that's through positive play. Talking of appointed Kevin Nicholson this week, a player who commands great respect down at down at Playmore, you, you've got to respect that despite their poor position, that he will inspire a response from the team. Yeah, well, you know, a new manager coming in, everyone's fighting for their place, they will get a reaction, and we have to be ready for that. Um, but, you know, given the performance we had on Saturday, I'm looking for a reaction as well, and I'm sure we'll get one as well. They've got the, the worst defence in the league, I think they're bottom of the current table, as I say, no win in 10. There's, there's an opportunity there to, to start positively, start on the front foot, and play with confidence. Well, uh, you know... All these, I don't know really look into records because they're always there to be broken. Um, we've just got to make sure that we get down there with the right attitude, the right focus, um, know that for us to get a result we're going to have to work extremely hard and if we do all these things and hopefully we can come away with the three points, um, they will be, you know, looking to start the game in the front foot with a new manager in charge. We have to make sure that they don't and do, do the things that get us results away from home. You mentioned Jake Gallagher on Saturday, but that that's an opportunity for others. And apart from Sean and Joe, are you are you happy with the with the selection that you've got? As players like Luke Oliver coming back to fitness. Yeah, well, Luke's trained this week. Tom Richards is training this week, so you know it gives us other options. With Charlie Harris been away and Jake being um, suspended, so you know there's two and two out. Um, so it, you know it gives us options. 
Um, and you know everyone's playing for their place. You know what I, we don't want is complacency in the team, and uh, we want there to be um, you know competition um, for places, and this provides it uh, the opportunity for certain players at the weekend. You you suggested that complacency at, at, at Barry. You said that that wasn't that wasn't going to be an option, and as I said then, you're not. You're not the sort of manager that will allow that to set in. No, no, definitely not. Um, I don't think complacency was the reason we were. I think it was just an overall bad performance. And Saturday, I don't think it was complacency because it very rarely we get eleven complacent players. Um, you know, so uh, it, 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 I won't allow complacency. And I think the fact that we've got guys that can come in and do good jobs if they've been in the bench and come on, uh, then. That won't happen uh, because we have competition for every place.